Oh, God. Oh. It's like immediate. Do you want another bite? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. This is really spicy. Oh, my. Hey, guys. On this episode of Heat Eaters, we are doing a deep dive. The noodle, please. Hey guys, on this episode of Heat Eaters, we're doing a deep dive into what the f we're doing a deep dive into one of my favorite meals ever. It's instant noodles. And of course, you gotta make it spicy. This is Heat Eaters. Everyone loves instant noodles and has some sort of memory attached to them. There's just something so satisfying and it's just delicious. First stop, I'm headed to the Instant Noodle Factory. They have all different types of instant noodles. They have toppings, you can make your own combos. And later, I'm meeting up with Joshua Weissman at a test kitchen and we'll taste all different types of instant noodles and create our own ultimate instant noodle hack. Let's head to the first stop. guys. We're here, you guys. It's the Instant Noodle Factory. I've been hearing about this place for a long time. It reminds me of being in Korea, actually. You kind of go in and there's no staff and it's like an honor system. You put cash down into a little bowl, you grab what you want and you like make your own noodles and you know, you, you eat instant ramen. It's such a big culture. Obviously, when you first w walk in, you see instantly instantly. The wall of instant noodles. So there's like a meat, seafood, flavor, profile section. Then there's like a spicy section, which obviously we love. There's like premium, there's vegetarian. You basically pick a base and then it looks like on this wall you see the topping. And this is how you kind of upgrade your noodles or jazz it up. So I think I'm gonna pick a few out of this wall to take with me and then one to eat here. I definitely have to bring different noodle types to Joshua so when we're tasting we can get different textures of noodles and also like different types so we'll get some brothy, we'll get some saucy and immediately here, I, I love these shapes, the scallion Sichuan pepper and also it has like that mala which I think that is a, a little bit uh, different than a lot of the noodles out there. One of the most popular ones right now is this Bruda Carbonara one, which is nice because it has like a cheesy element. It's spicy, but it's also creamy. And obviously I have to bring one of the Ring of Fire, so I think I'm gonna go with this one because it looks insane. It's called Ghost Pepper, and obviously it's gonna be spicy, so. And I think for me, I personally love a brothy ramen. So I'm looking at this one over here. The, um, the noguri, the angry noguri. I feel like it's pretty spicy. Also, it's one of my favorite types of ramen and I grew up eating it. And then we'll kind of jazz it up with different toppings. All right, so I added spam, corn, kimchi, sliced jalapenos, ghost pepper. That's it. Hi. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. Enjoy. Thank you. Okay, so basically, your noodles come beautifully topped with your toppings. Your, you put it directly on the circle, like so. Your tray comes with a number, and that's the number you're supposed to press. So, one, one. And that's it. You wait, and you stir occasionally. I need one of these machines at home. And obviously, you have like this toppings on the side, and you can either add it now or just eat it on the side, but I think I'm just gonna add it. So it's supposed to be a topping, and that's the ghost chili. Oh, that's actually pretty spicy. If it's not, it, it actually smells spicy, so I'm just gonna add half of it, not all of it, because that's kind of a lot. Oh God, the ghost pepper. I don't know, maybe I should regret that decision of adding the... You getting flashbacks? Yeah. Okay, so it beeped. Let's do this thing. Let's see. Mmm. It's like memories. It's actually quite spicy. I think the jalapeno has added a lot of kick. Fuck. I 
I made it inedible. <laughs> I think the noodle itself was spicy and then like, I don't know what I did to it. Oh my God, that's insane. That's like real ghost pepper. <laughs> okay, I'll eat a piece of Spam. Mmm. Spam is the best. Actually, the, spi uh, the saltiness of Spam helps subside some of that heat. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I think this level should be like a seven. I don't know. It's pretty spicy. Oh, so good. Also, what's been recently very trendy is like instant noodle hacks. One hack that I really love is using egg yolk as the emulsifier. So you kind of like mix some of the broth with egg yolk and make it super creamy. And another one I love is to add like a lot of flavor. You can uh, saute scallions and garlic before you make the instant noodle. So that gives it another dimension of, of body and flavor. Knowing Joshua, he's gonna really wanna jazz it up and make it fancy. So, you know, I'm down for it. But in the meantime, I'm gonna finish this bowl. Mm. This spam is really good, isn't it? I love spam. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Thank there you go. You. Thank you for coming. So we are in the test kitchen. You know, we got all fancy here today. This is a nice studio. I wish my apartment looked like this. Hello. What's up? I'm here to ruin my Welcome. life. Let's go. <laughs> Hello. Does that mean that you can't handle spicy food? I can handle spicy food, but yeah. I know that we're doing some stuff that's beyond that. You beyond know? that. I mean, Maybe it's just, depends. It might just be my conscience. I've done videos where I've made other people eat spicy things that are <laughs> unnaturally this spicy. Is, this is payback. Well, right. thanks for joining me. Thank you for having me. Yeah. I'm, I'm so excited. We're going to eat some really spicy noodles. If you had to kind of um, it break down. it down. Yeah. Like, no what are you intended. looking for? To me, it needs to have a certain level of spice. It needs to have good chew. Right. I hate, I hate goopy, pureed-like noodles. What makes a superior dish over, you know, a good dish is texture. Yes, it is. According to your new book. It's true. <laughs> it is everything. It really is. And uh, it's gotta be salty, you gotta have that umami. I hope it has MSG in it. MSG is a very important, critical part in any type of noodle dish, I, I think. Okay, so let's go through it. I'm gonna go bring- I'll be sure to rub my eyes after this. <laughs> You'll be oh my okay. God. Mm, so good. Mm -mm. <laughs> Sorry. You'll I'm unhinged right now. So the first one is the Seng noodles. Love these. Um, scallion Sichuan pepper. Love it. It's such a interactive spice. I yeah, feel like. I like that word. Yeah. Interactive spice. Yeah. Yeah, it makes your whole body kind of tingle. Yeah, these are the kind of noodles that I personally really like. These pick up sauce very well. It smells so good. See how much these noodles want to cling to each other? That's what they're doing with the uh -huh. sauce. I don't know if you guys, you guys yeah. can't see this, but this says breathe, breathe on it. <laughs> Holy shit. What are we about to do? Here we go. Cheers. Great texture on the noodles. Because the noodles are bigger, I think the sauce naturally just coats mm -hmm. your palate more. You know, but I it like needs it. more Szechuan yeah. peppercorn. It needs more mala. You need to have that body, like the body yeah. feels. You're just like. Uh huh. Uh huh. Next one. This really just no. looks spicy. I, I, don't mean, even, I don't even need to read ghost pepper on here to know that this is made to fuck you up. Yeah, I mean, first of all, it's a uh, black and red. That's like the hometown yeah. colors of like every super villain. <laughs> so the noodle itself, I think, are are black. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, which... like like squid ink? Oh, oh wow, yeah. Little... I... Did you just cut yourself? I just cut myself on the packaging. See? See? I told you, super villain. I told you. Do we have a Do we have a napkin in here? Medic! Uh, oh my god, you really cut it. Yeah, that's a good one. All these like demonic vibes. It attacked you, but uh, it attacked me. In a positive note, you do get this little fork. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Okay. Why are these so hard to grab? You definitely get it like right away, right? Mm hmm The broth. That's where it's at. The more you eat it, the spicier it gets. Yeah. I feel it in the broth. No, actually, yeah, it's spicy. It's, it's, spicy. it's at a spice level where you're kind of like, I don't really want this. That's where it's at. What is it? It's ghost pepper, right? Yeah, it's building. That's what it is. It's ghost building. pepper makes you like get mucusy in your mouth. Uh -huh. When you're trying to breathe, you suffocate yourself. That's why it's called a ghost pepper. This one's spicy. Because yeah. your your soul is gonna leave your body. 
And of course, this one is probably your most popular one on the market at the moment when it comes to spicy noodles. Yeah. Um, it's the Purda Ramen. They have different varieties. This one happens to be the carbonara one. I also love the branding though. Like, look at uh -huh. this cute chicken. It's also it's a, like, it's oh, also a it's chef. So nice. Carbonara powder, mm -hmm. never heard of that. And carbonara sauce. So not carbonara, but yes. I still think that it's gonna be one of the spicier ones. Uh, really? It is kind of low-key baby branded. Yeah. They really don't care. They're just yeah. like, yeah, it's mild. Give but this to know. your baby. All right. All right, cheers. Cheers. It's like the fake taste, right? The fake yeah. cheese taste. But it is spicy. Yeah, that's not mild. And it's pink and it's so cute. And then Again, this to is, Again, it's in the babies. What are you thinking? What are some inspo? My favorite sauce texture, I know I talk shit about it, was the carbonara one. Okay. I almost want like a combination flavor-wise. So, okay, okay, sauce texture okay. from the carbonara. Mm -hmm. Flavor of the scallion. A creamy, mala, yeah. and spicy. Maybe we should redo the carbonara. We're gonna yeah. fix it, because it could have been good. And it had nice heat. We like the have. spice level. Yeah. Okay, here we are. We have our setup. Yes for our homemade instant noodle party. Love it. I think the first thing we do is pick our noodles. I feel like I already know which noodle you're gonna pick. Yeah, just yeah. point at it. Yeah, I mean, we, we all yep. know that you're obsessed yep. with this. I'm gonna make a little spice packet. Okay. And I have an array of spicy. I like using a lot of different chili peppers. Gochugaru. Right? Gochugaru. It's like beautifully sweet, spicy. Perfect balance. I have some smoked paprika because I feel like smokiness will be kind of be nice. And then of course, the Trinidad scorpion pepper from Smokin' Ed's Farm. And Ooh. I... <coughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, right? Wow, that's crazy. It's crazy. <clears throat> I just know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Garlic powder, onion powder, white pepper. I, I like white pepper over black. So good. Sugar. Salt, and then of course like the MSG, but this is the beef flavored MSG, oh, right? I that's mean, nuts. it's, that's it's just so gonna good. make everything taste oh. good. That's my spi special spice blend. I love it, it looks beautiful. It really right? does look exactly like what you would see in a ramen packet. And then now you're gonna go in with the oil. Yes, so I love chili oil. I make it all the time. It's just as simple as this. Right. You put things in a bowl and there's only one extra step. You pour a little hot oil on it, that's it. So, so spices and then hot oil. Spices and then hot oil. That's gonna flavor the whole sauce. This is just gonna kind of coat. A little bit of viscosity, a little bit of texture to it, a little bit of greasiness, but in a good way. We have fried shallots, brown gochugaru. You know what, <laughs> since we're on the chili powder, we have this. Since yours is a little lighter, I think I should go heavier. It is a chili oil. Fine. I mean, it is being... So we'll just put a little bit. ...bloomed just with the oil. Just a little bit. Do you think the, the oil... Did you just add the whole thing? That was, was like a tablespoon. Was I not supposed to do that? Oopsie. Some sesame seeds, sliced fresh garlic, green onion, sugar. So Sichuan peppercorns for, uh, you know, we wanted a little bit more of that numbing spice, right? So I'm gonna add all of these. Ooh. We've got MSG. Smell that. So now I'm gonna add my liquid ingredients. This is gonna help break that down a little bit before we add our oil. So we've got okay. a little bit of Chinese black vinegar, dark soy. So this is gonna just give a little bit more of an aged depth of flavor, mm -hmm. a little bit of viscosity to it, and then regular soy just for to continue up the umami and a little bit of extra salt. That gets stirred, you're gonna make sort of a little bit of a thick paste. Oh, it smells fucked up. Can I, can I smell it? That's not gonna be good. Damn, right. the combo of the Szechuan with the Trinidad scorpion pepper is insane. Now it's ready to receive our hot oil, which is very, very hot. All right, should I look love like that. that. When I just, it's so beautiful. It's so nice. Do you wanna stir it while it's still frying? so that it, you, get, you give every little spice, every granule a chance to get popped. That's beautiful. That's our chili oil topping. It's gonna provide a little bit of texture, but it's also gonna provide a lot of heat. All right, I think this is like a beautiful, you know, combo. Got our dry, we got our wet. Deceptive. So we have our noodles. Those are gonna go in five Gorgeous. minutes. We cooked down some guanciale here. Right, whenever you cook guanciale, you cook it down low heat. Get it crispy, get that fat mm -hmm. rendered. You've got that happening here. So at this point, um, we can go ahead and add our sliced garlic, a little extra garlic flavor, and some sliced Thai chili. That's right, more spice, but this is fresh spice. You were talking about that earlier. Yeah, I feel like it's a nice different dimension when you use fresh chilies versus dried. I think we make our little paste of egg yolk. So we're gonna take our yolks out and then your spice mix, add about oh, half a cup of your pecorino. And then we're just gonna mix all this up 
beautiful into a and nice, paste. beautiful paste. This is the base of our emulsion, okay? So like when we add our noodles, the noodle water, this is gonna emulsify with that. It's gonna create a nice glossy sauce. You can already see how thick this is. I yeah, mean, this is like, I love that. That's gonna be nice. So we have our noodles. They are nice and hot. The water's a little starchy, which means it's gonna emulsify this beautifully. So I'm adding my fried garlic, fried chilies, the guanciale. Beautiful. Okay, and then we're ready for, for you to come in. Dollop of our beautiful egg yolk emulsion. Yes. So I'm gonna get this started a little bit, get these uh, these eggs heated up mm. a little bit before I add our liquid. A little half weight, I'll stir that yeah. in. Yeah. Mmm. Just to make sure the salt levels are good. Wow. Wow? That's spice. Spicy? <laughs> we didn't even add the chili <laughs> oil yet. No, I'm kidding, it's not that bad. Okay, we have a beauty bowl. We do have a beauty bowl, which is, come on. Oh. <laughs> come on, just right. for you. Naturally, naturally, of course. So that'll go in. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Chili oil. All right, and just layer that around nicely. And then. And then the oil part. The oil, which can go right on. And then you add your fresh Parmigiano Reggiano, grated it right on top. Look at that. It's like the perfect Asian Italian. Yeah, it's weird how well they go hand in hand yeah. when you match them. Ready to taste? I'm ready. All right, so this is like a classic Korean move. You eat it with on the lid. Ah, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. I love it. All right, here we go. Cheers. Okay, cheers. <sighs> Come on, you got this. Okay. It's like immediate. Oh no. That's why I laughed. I was like, what the? Oh, shit. That's fine. Fine. It's really delicious. It's just. The numbing spice is a lot. It's so delicious, though. I'm fine. I'm fine. Do you want another bite? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a yeah, it's I would super, love another bite. <laughs> super, super delicious. Just maybe add a little less of the chili oil. The mix of the egg yolk emulsion and the cheese makes it not that bad. Oh, God. <sighs> All right. Yeah. You gotta put the noise canceling on for this shit. I mean, I think it depends on the bite. Like, that's the thing. I like, definitely bit straight into one of those Trinidads. Also, and then it fell in the back of my throat. Can you imagine eating this whole bowl? No. Like, where that's are you one bite? Toilet's gonna look right? like that afterwards. All right, Bill, you gotta try it. Yeah, come on, Bill. Come on, Bill. Woo, Bill. I Bill's love it. got it. Actually, it's like really delicious. It's... Now you'll notice that they have toilet <laughs> paper over in the corner. Why is that? That's, that's for me. <laughs> So like, to eat an entire, oh my God. Oh my God, dude. Somebody get this guy. Where, oh, where's Osha? No. Call Osha. But it looks so good when he eats it. it yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> He's a good, you're a good noodle slurper. Oh my God. Your mouth is gonna be on fire. <laughs> it's all over his mouth, you guys. I got you. <laughs> you're Service. so sweet. Thank you. No, you actually just dabbed it all over his beard. It's pretty good. Pretty good, it's not bad. It's good. I feel like it's so numb now that it's more enjoyable. Yeah. That I, you know, I can't really feel anything. Okay, you can't feel anything. But you can taste it? I'm sweating. <laughs> yeah, I can't feel anything either. I'd buy it. Uh, to buy it? A uh, cold winter night, you, you open one of these, you know. Wow. It has a really addictive quality. Like, that's <laughs> delicious. Yeah. yeah, the addiction I is me calling 911. Well, I got something special for you. Oh, Jesus. Let's go! <laughs> oh. The heat eater spicy noodles of Joshua Weissman and Esther Choi. You're welcome to hell. <laughs> oh, you know, right, right to the <laughs> hospital bedroom. You know what? It's super delicious. I mean, very, very, very spicy, I would say. The noodle texture, perfect. Yep. We got the creaminess that you wanted, and we only had to add a few ingredients. And once you make like this chili oil or the chili blend, yeah. you can kind of really make your own spicy noodles. It's the gift that keeps on giving, you know? Yeah. You can put this on anything and make it awful. I mean, I mean, make it delicious. <laughs> Woo!
Well, Joshua, thank you so much for doing this. Thank you How for having fun. me. Have fun. Dude, I think we created something awesome. I do. I think I, I think we created something very special that exists nowhere else. In my opinion, just as good, if not better, than the instant ramens that we had today. What do you mean? It's way better. Way better. So Joshua, talk to me. What are you doing lately? What do you got going on? Aside from these spicy noodles, I'm gonna do my best, okay? I'm gonna fight my way through this. But my new cookbook, sorry, I can't see. <laughs> um, texture over taste is out today. Well, it came out today. It's definitely out by the time you've watched this. It's available everywhere books are sold. You know, just like we talked about earlier, texture is important. The reason why these noodles are so good, the chew, the slurping quality, the viscosity of the sauce. That's what this book is about. It focuses on that. But these are recipes anybody can make. And more importantly, it will make you a better eater. Esther, Got thank it. you for having me. Appreciate it. We did it. We did a great job. Ah! Ah! No! When you, you, it literally scared me. Did you see that? I was like, ah! <laughs> Go replay that clip and it's literally me like... <laughs> hey, look. Now it has like an extra flair of spicy. Ooh. It's personalized. Oh, it's Pequant. We what? could sell this. We could sell this as a special copy. Ooh, I wish I could sell that. The FDA would not like that. Well, we have to have a disclaimer on it. Possibly have people sign waivers when they buy it. Agree. Right? Big agree. Hey guys, it's Esther from Heat Eaters. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And for more episodes, click here.